hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to make a http request to the json placeholder api inside your angular 9 application so for this you need to first of all go to app.module.ts file and import your uh, http client module from uh, at the rate angular common slash http so this contains this module which is http client module so import this and after importing this you need to also add it inside your imports array like this and now we just need to make a service so that we can just make this request so ng generate service so ng gs and then we will be making the services folder and inside this we will make this uh, json placeholder service so if you execute this command so it will create a services folder inside your root directory so just wait so it takes some time to generate this so just wait ng gs services so it will create the services you can see that the services folder is generated and now we just need to make a simple get request to the http api so for that we also need to import uh, http client from angular common http and now inside the constructor we just need to make a instance of this so private http of the kind http client so after this we just need to make a simple method of get data and inside this this will return a observable so we just need to write this observable so just include it right here at the top here import observable from rxjs and now we just need to use this uh, http variable which is this dot http and there is a get method inside it so this will return a observable so just wrap this inside this and here we just need to provide our url so i will copy paste the url of the json placeholder so this is the url so just wait So paste the URL and uh, just pass this URL like this inside this. So this completes the service. So now we are returning this observable. We need to subscribe in the app.component.ts file. So I will be going back to this file app.component.ts file. So here we just need to import the service. So import. So it is there inside services folder slash json placeholder service and now inside this we just need to extract this json placeholder service and now inside this constructor we just need to make a private variable which is json placeholder which is of the type json placeholder service and uh, we just need to bind a simple button here inside app dot component so this will be a on click so when we click this button so get data from api this function we will execute and the label will be simply get data now we just need to write this function which is get data from api So inside this function we just need to use this dot json placeholder the variable of the service and there is a method inside it get data we need to subscribe to this method and then the data will be returned to us inside this brackets so now we can just console log the data
and now I need to run this application so I will go back to the command prompt and write this command ng serve so it will run the application for us so just wait after compiling it it will be running at localhost 4200 So it typically takes time early on when it starts the application. Uh, in the meantime we can just declare a data variable which will hold the array like this of any kind. So here we can just pass any and now we can in initialize our data variable inside our constructor by this dot data new array like this pass any to it like this so we have successfully initialized this array and uh, the array will which will be receiving is this response here so it will contain some entries here so let me just first of all compile the application so it is still compiling so so just wait for the compilation to and in the next step we can just do that this dot data to we can initialize it to the data and now we just need to print out inside the app dot component so just wait for the compilation process it is still compiling So now you can see that it is start compiling it 10% building. Now it has compiled successfully if I refresh the application you will see a button here and now I need to go to right click inspect element and go to console here just to show you. So if I hit this button here, so you will see that 100 records will be re returned to me inside the console here. So this is the array of records here. So we just need to loop it through inside our app.component. So now we have declared this array variable. So this array variable is there inside the template. Now we can just loop through it. We can just have an unordered list and we can just use ng4 directive ng4 so this will be equal to let uh, record let d let suppose d of data which is the array and now inside our li tag we can just print out first we can print out the id which is d dot id and secondly we can print out so this needs to be surrounded by double curly brackets we can print out the title and thirdly we can just print out body and now basically if I refresh it so it will basically so it is saying oh sorry li not this is d Now if I hit get data, so you will see that it will print out all the records which are coming back from the API, 100 records. So you will see that if I drag down, so full 100 records are printed out inside our Angular application. So this is the easiest way by which you can just make HTTP request to the JSON placeholder API, fake REST API for developers. So thanks very much for watching this video.